Hey y'all, it's me, Sign on Dragon. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. So let's see what's going on the 11th through the 17th. The week of the 11th through the 17th. What can we expect this week? What is happening? What is happening? So let's see. I'm going to pull some affirmations for this week that we can remember to incorporate into our daily routines. Um, with our water. You know, I like to say affirmations into the water. Uh, before I drink it so that I can really embody that energy of the affirmation, okay? Excuse me. I call it like, you know, charging your water. So charge your water with prayers. What? What? Okay, I'm going to do it again. What, what do we need for this week? 11 through 17. We have imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Um, and then, I don't know, that's three cards I just want to. We have patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Then we have per, um, perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. And then we have change. I understand nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So someone here has to get moving free their mind here i possess the power to and the free will to create my own happiness so use your imagination whatever you can think you can create what we think we create that is like basic manifestation what you think is what you create okay especially when it comes to the law of attraction you want to um make sure that you know you're not prematurely attracting something that is not really destined for you but because you focus so much on it you end up attracting it what you think you create where your focus goes i don't know something grows you the the intention grows you know where your focus goes the intention grows so i see with patience you know yes what you think you can re you can create but it also requires you to have faith and patience when it comes to allowing the seed to grow um and through your perseverance you begin to nourish whatever that seed is okay so let's see what's imagination patience and perseverance oh i knew this was an auto card let me see imagination perseverance and patience okay so we have communication so imagination with communication so someone here needs to imagine um a magic communication going in a in a more secure and constructive way when it comes to a household environment okay um i also see that there could be some ancestors who are trying to communicate with you something that they want for you to build up some type of foundation it requires you aligning your chakras in the week of december 11th to december 17th so let's see for patience what is patience? I accept everything that happens in that everything happens in divine order. So yeah, so this is patience when it comes to building whatever this is here. Whatever this is that you're trying to build, whatever this is that you're trying to imagine, you know, it does take patience when it comes to building a strong structure. And also someone here has to be patient when it comes to a house. Okay. When it comes to a house getting so um the right house will be illuminated when the right time when the time is right. So let's see, what's perseverance? I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Okay, we have numbers. So your spirit guides are trying to show you something in the numbers here. So there also could be a need for um, your, oh, your perseverance is what's going to make your numbers go up as well. Okay, your spirit guides are telling you that maybe they want you to start with a um, a better routine or something like that. A more a routine that involves a lot more um, self reflection, so that um, you can keep your numbers high. Okay, yeah, they're trying to shine light on something. They're trying to shine light on something. Abundance, yes. Yes, you're very close to a very abundant season, but it does require for you to um, stay consistent in your travel and stay consistent in, you know, moving. Keep it moving. Keep it going. So let's say, <laughs> let's see what is going on for the week of the 11th through the 17th. What can we 
What do we need to know with this imagination, patience, perseverance, numbers, health, and communication? Okay. Moving on, reward and recognition. We have balance trying to show itself here. So maybe someone here will, when you move on, you'll be able to have some type of um, balance be restored. So let's see, imagination and communication. Imagination and communication for the 11th through the 17th of December. What is this? Imagination, communication. You, it's like trying to find, someone here needs to find a creative way to communicate. The waiting game, heartache and loss, okay? So maybe it's like someone here could be imagining something when it comes to communication. Maybe they're imagining um, communicating with you. Or maybe this is also with, because this communication card really does speak on ancestors. So maybe there could be ancestors who um, are in heartache and loss right now or who have, who you have lost that are waiting for you to communicate with them. And then those moments and times where you're having your imagination is just, you know, free and you're just thinking and thoughts start coming to your head and you're like, what is that? Oh, that's, that's, you know, you could try to push it away or something like that. Just know that, you know, they're trying to communicate with you and to help you and show you a direction for you to go that will um, help you to avoid whatever this heartache and loss is and get towards uh, prosperity and prosperity okay yeah so sitting around and also sitting around waiting for someone could, to communicate could also result in you playing a waiting game extensively but um prosperity is gonna come in emotional loss and then we have authority and then harmony so someone here could be waiting for someone to drop this kind of like I don't know, emotional, emotionless kind of attitude or manner within a connection um, it, because it's creating some type of disruption. So maybe imagine communicating in the best way or something like that. Um, will help get you to a vic victory and success. I also see a new beginning, you know, starting. This would be a fresh new beginning, or this could be a, a, a fresh new beginning within this feeling. Trust your intuition this week, okay? There is new beginnings that's coming in. Um, yeah, new new beginnings that's coming in. Um, things that matter to your heart. Partnerships, new partnerships are coming in, okay? That could be work, friends. All that, yeah. Someone here has been, someone here has been suffering in silence, or maybe you could feel like you're suffering in silence. But in those moments when you feel like you're suffering in silence, in the week of uh, December 11th to the 17th, just focus on what it is that you can be creating, using your imagination to create. Um, embrace and nourish the creative aspect of your mind when you have those moments where you feel like you're suffering. Okay. Because the truth is going to come to light. Whatever this is, the truth is going to come to light. Yeah. Someone here made some choices or decisions um, that have caused some type of conflict and defeat when it comes to a relationship. Someone here, there could be a disruption in, in someone's foundation. Okay? But use your imagination to pull yourself up out of those up out of those spaces. Whatever this is, use your imagination. Meditate this week. Meditation is very key this week for whoever this resonates with. Okay, so let's see what's patience and house. Patience and house. Okay, so that's too many guys. Patience and house. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Forward movement. Everything happens in divine orders. When it comes to a house, I see choices and accelerated motion. So someone here has, someone's choices are going to lead you. Your, maybe your choices, you're going to choose to move forward, okay? I see that there's going to be a choice to move forward when it comes to a house, okay? Yeah, I see you stepping in your power and making a sacrifice here and choosing to transform. 
because there will be a transformation that happens because of your your uh your patience yeah don't you know better than to fall into some type of temptation this week so don't trust your wisdom don't fall into the the temptation because there will be conflict and defeat on the other side of that emotional emotional withdrawal okay yeah all right yeah just be patient when it comes to this house situation okay so maybe you're being guided to pull back your emotions from this from obsessing over whatever this is in this housing situation okay pull back your emotions so let's see what is this perseverance oh wait patience in house let me see if i can get it okay yeah truth that's the truth and you're going to see the truth the truth is move forward okay accelerate emotion you're going to be able to move forward in the truth all right okay so let's see what's perseverance and emotional withdrawal you're being guided to emotionally withdraw okay because it's like there's some type of stern conflict that is causing mental conflict so it's like your awareness of whatever this is this week is what's going to get you towards a triumphant space. So don't don't sit there and stay stuck in a mental conflict. Just emotionally withdraw from whatever this is when it's involving a housing situation and, and, and trust that everything happens in divine order this week. Okay? Yeah, hold on to memories of love. You know, stay in light. Give light to the situation. Um, you, I, I understand there may be some tough spaces or tough times, but you're being guided to pray with spiritual strength. Continue to pray and ask God to order your steps and trust that things will work out because they will. Shh. Victory and success. Look, yes, your spiritual strength, victory and success, you trust your intuition, it's coming towards you. Patience and planning, okay? I don't know who message this is, but just trust the process, okay? So let's see, what's perseverance? I know I can do whatever I set my mind to in numbers. One more time, one more card. Okay. Destiny, yeah. So stay stay um, in love and in light when it comes to your destiny, whatever this is that you're passionate about. Um, continue to persevere um, and watch your numbers rise, okay? Your numbers are gonna rise. Okay. So, excuse me, y'all. Let's see. Now, what do we have um, for this week? Oh, look, I cut the deck on perseverance and complacency. So, you know, try not to get too complacent this week. You have a choice. Um, choose to persevere through all of this, okay? There's there's a specific number that's aligned with your destiny that you will see a lot, <coughs> okay? There's going to also be some keys that you will uncover or, um, yeah, recover as you, you know, go through this transition when it comes to this house. So let's see, imagination, communication, and waiting game service so remain of service okay continue to remain of service continue to um continue to do what you're being guided to do you may be at a, a waiting game at a waiting point where it's like you know what i know i'm receiving divine guidance from above i know you know i can use my imagination to create whatever this is that i desire um this may be taking a minute but just stay focus when it comes to service okay stay be be of service be of service yeah it's like someone here also it's like you could be at a deadlock waiting for something to change when it comes to communication but um it's like at some point it's a facade 
someone here could be in a, a vain space. There could be someone here who's, it's like, you could be waiting for something to come, but it's a facade. It's not coming. This is someone who's too vain and who feels as though people should serve them. So be be careful of that energy. There could be this could be who you're having some type of communication issues. Okay? If you have some type of communication issues with this individual. Yeah, guilt and renewal. So someone here could be stuck in the light. Could be experiencing communication with somebody who has a lot of guilt. Okay? And you know, this person plays victim a lot. Okay? They like to hold on to this. I don't know. This person could play victim a lot. But you, it's like you're still being guided to just stay grateful and stay on your path. Stay on your path. Okay? Because your path is different from whoever this, whoever, whatever this energy is. Okay, yeah, this energy of grief here. Okay, this person is searching for something, always searching for something. This person is always on a quest. This person could have this or have a million and one dollars and kind of still be searching for something other than what whatever is in front of them. Yeah, this person could be in a space of complacency. Okay. Vanity. Okay. Someone here is definitely um yeah, I feel like maybe you're going to discover that someone here, um, someone here could be like using trickery. Someone here could be using trickery. This is someone who maybe you're, you'll grow impatient with and then release or something like that. Or someone here is, I don't know. This is either you and how you'll feel towards yourself or how you'll feel towards someone else. So let's see, what is this patience, house, and truth? Patience, house, and truth for December 11th through 17th. Patience, house, and truth. Someone here, um, trickery. Someone here could be like, it's like the knowledge is in front of them, the truth is in front of them, but they're steady looking for something else to trick their mind or something like that. This is, it's like almost as though Maybe this weight here where everything happens in divine order when it comes to this housing situation is the truth is that it's a trick wherever this investment is now. And so, you know, you're being guided to wait a second. Just wait and be patient because you're, you know, this is this is going to come to an end and then something else is going to sprout out in another direction for you. Okay joy forgiveness and joy so hold on to the energy of joy hold on to the energy of forgiveness that's what's going to help you to stay balanced and persevere um as you go along this you know this path that this unknown path okay because there is definitely going to be a shift coming up this week okay yeah someone here is complacent and maybe you've been being patient with this person or you need to be patient with this person and, and choose to forgive this person here, okay? Because the truth will be revealed. Um, trust your instinct here. Don't, don't let this person's victim mentality keep you in a confused space. Or shoot, don't even let your own victim mentality keep you in a confused space. Trust your instincts, okay? Have faith. Someone here is being called to have faith. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see. What's destiny, numbers, and perseverance for the 11th through the 17th? Destiny, numbers, and perseverance for the 11th through the 17th. So we have perseverance again. So workaholic. Somebody here needs to be. I'm talking about you better work your ass off. Okay. <laughs> you better. <laughs> Somebody got to work, 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 work. Why, 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 why? Because that's the only way that whatever this rejection is that you've been receiving will be over. 
there's an ending to this rejection. So now God's like, all right, step into your destiny. Now your number's going up. Now we got your numbers. Now we see you going to do it. You you got faith. You trust in your instinct. You releasing whatever this victim energy is in this confusion victim space and stepping into your destiny and releasing whatever whatever needs to be released. This is going to bring in balance here. Okay? This is going to bring in balance. And this is going to help someone's uh, passion. Bring back their passion. Releasing whatever this insecurity is, whatever this heart blockage is, and creating is what's going to bring back in your passion and what's going to help your numbers grow, what's going to step you deeper into your destiny here. Pretty much, um, I wouldn't, honestly, it's, it, to me, it's saying, you know, focus on yourself and focus on service. Focus on being of service here. Imagine communicating with, um, imagine um, communicating with a lot of people, expanding. Okay, imagine expanding. It's going to be like a bittersweet feeling as you continue to, you know, shift your perception. Okay, shift your perception as you continue to work and pour in numbers, whatever facade could have been created around you. I see that you're going to have a space to recover. Okay, okay, yep. Isolation, you being in isolation has helped you to discover your self love, your self worth. It's almost like someone here has been crowned or initiated and they understand where they're moving towards, okay? They understand or you will be understanding where you're moving towards, <clears throat> okay? Yeah. Dissipating instinct. So something is definitely dissipating. Vanity could be dissipating. Your vanity could be dissipating. You should. You could be going more into a survival instinct this week here. Yeah, just have faith, have faith, trust that, you know, whatever rejection you could have been imagining, I need you to imagine the opposite, imagine things going in the best way possible, things actually working out, and you actually um, having a second chance, even if, even if this is you who were a victim at some point, trust that you will have some type of renewal, and there's a miracle coming within this week. All right, y'all, so that is what I have for you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.